Hello, Omar. This is uh, Gautam from Salesforce. Hey. Um, Hello. Sure you can hear me? Oh, I can hear you. Okay. Um, can you hear me? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. You can, can you hear me? Hello. Okay. Um, no, can't hear you. Okay. Uh, I think now I might hear you. Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay, cool. So, um, let me introduce this this working group meeting because mm -hmm. uh, I I really don't think someone else will join and we we'll, we'll just call it okay. Um, yeah. But uh, so I'm Omar. I'm uh, one of the active uh, people in this working group. Uh, mm -hmm. Other uh, is Thomas. Uh, which generally take this part. Um, so the working group is about operators. We are a part of SIG app delivery uh, mm -hmm. with the goal to define what an operator is under mm -hmm. the CNCF uh, concept. So what is an operator in general? And then go a little bit deeper in how an operator in Kubernetes is built. Uh, okay. So I'll show my screen. Let give me just a second. So can you see the white paper? Yeah. Okay, great. So 
basically what we are uh, doing or aiming to do right now is completing the operator white paper. Uh, the mm. way we are doing it is that we take sections and each time mm. uh, we open a pull request with a couple of sections, give it a week or two and then merge it. Um, I don't have the GitHub right here, but it's somewhere in the notes. Um, so let me give you a brief introduction about the white paper. You can at any time just go in and comment and add or delete stuff. Uh, generally, mm -hmm. what we're doing in these uh, meetings is going over and just approving or discussing the changes. So just okay. uh, executive summary uh, and the introduction, which will both be written uh, more at the end, so it's kind of wording here. Uh, the goal is like I described earlier, uh, the target audience uh, foundation, which is basically a more generic talk about Kubernetes and operators. The operator design. A little bit uh, to the, is I've been uh, like actually developing some of the operators using uh, uh, some of the uh, available uh, operator generation frameworks like Cube Builder, uh, Operator SDK, uh, previously generated code using code generators and client Go alone. So all of these things. So I, uh, one of my questions is more about, so when you talked about like a more generalistic approach of uh, what an operator should do and uh, uh, what, in the world of Kubernetes, uh, how we can define an operator. Like where can I find more information about those architectural discussions that happen for generic operator versus Kubernetes operators? So this is basically the operator design pattern. And okay. this is the more general approach that where we think, uh, where we think about a software that have the operational knowledge, what in Kubernetes is called a controller. And mm -hmm. it watch some declarative state, report some declarative mm -hmm. status, and manage mm -hmm. some resources. Yeah. So it's just taking the concept of a controller into a more generic design pattern uh, in mm -hmm. the sense that we don't define it in the wording of controller and we're not requiring it to run and extend the Kubernetes API. Okay. So, uh, and after we described uh, this part, uh, this also describing the characteristic of it, sorry for that. Mm -hmm. um, there is the Kubernetes operator components, which is taking the design pattern, but giving it the right names. So here you can mm -hmm. see the controller, it watches a custom resource, it reconciles mm -hmm. the desired state, just the, all the things that QBuilder and everyone else gives out of the box. So once again, mm -hmm. we talked about a little bit controller and custom resource and control loop. And mm -hmm. the second part of talking about uh, operators in general are the operator capabilities. So we want mm -hmm. to define few capabilities that an operator can say, I'm implementing this capability. And this, if you know this capability, you know that I'm doing everything right as it's written. So for example, an operator can have the install or ownership capabilities and then the operator will know how to provision everything, to check everything, uh, or to take ownership on external resources that were already provisioned. And mm -hmm. for example, the, the, there can be the backup, the scaling, the auto scaling, uninstalling. So all these are kind of capability model that mm -hmm. we try to build. Mm -hmm. and. And 
the third part of more general operator is the security and risks which mm -hmm. is once again we don't want to get inside of how you write the control the controller itself so the language and all that of course that can yeah. affect the security and risks but that's a little bit deeper than what we want to describe here uh, but mm -hmm. yes we want to describe how you build trust how you uh, discuss the API permissions you need how do you monitor the audit log so the more general mm -hmm. thinking uh, and less the, so that can be good if you're running inside the cluster outside the cluster or maybe even if you run some terraform in a way that it can continuously watch uh, a github for example Okay, uh, another quick question. So does this SIG uh, also care about the authorization and authentication with controller uh, being uh, like a native support for any of such kind of uh, authorization and authentication within the controller itself? Like is that a whole different chapter? Um. So in general, we're not approving or signing any operator it is. We're just okay. trying to lay down the foundation of what an operator is and what are the uh -huh. capabilities, but we're not, we will not take part on approving uh, or for uh, uh, adding or vetting for operators. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I hope that, that was answering the question. Uh, one more question is, so are there any kind of guidelines from the perspective of this SIG uh, when to opt for an operator, uh, for example, an operator can be a stateful set or not? Uh, can operator be uh, scalable in a sense that uh, there could be multiple versions of a controller of a given operator and load balance among them? Uh, does this SIG lay out any kind of guidelines or, or is that all sort of scope for this? So, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we will probably need to discuss somewhere around, even in the general design pattern. So is this software is, should be only one of it or should be able to scale? Is, should it keep state? Uh, we should probably go into it. I'm not sure if the documentation goes into it right now. Uh, but this is a great part to dive in and, and add, maybe somewhere in this section. Mm -hmm. uh, or in the control section. And yeah, I'm not sure if this is written right now. I'm not sure if there will be a very hard guideline around it. Maybe more mm -hmm. in the discussion of, okay, you need to understand you might need to know how to scale it. So uh, don't keep state, for example. Okay. Uh, and the so, second part, no, okay. No, sorry, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. So the, just in, um, on the wording, we are not a SIG. Uh, we are a working group under SIG app delivery. Mm -hmm. So we are okay. very specific task and once we okay. complete it, we might close down and say goodbye. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Make makes sense. Totally makes sense. Yeah, uh, yeah. I had it. I, I thought this is the entire SIG meeting. Uh, uh, so I was asking all, all kinds of questions. I uh, didn't realize that this is a very uh, working uh, a working group uh, confined to one particular area of discussion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, those are the only 
questions I have regarding this, uh, I actually have gone through this document, uh, not very much in detail, but uh, at a high level. Um, yeah, I think uh, this document actually helped me a lot in understanding uh, where the actual design comes uh, comes for the uh, Kubernetes operators. I think uh, uh, I found the answer now. Yeah. So Thank you. Thanks great. for that explanation. Great. Um, uh, so what usually you do, uh, like uh, once you convene and meet here, like what is the outcome uh, of every uh, working group meeting? Uh, yeah, wait, let me just a second. I need to connect the computer to a quick screen. Okay, so um, generally we go over the document and solve uh comments and addition text uh, okay. as we try to get a good consensus inside the working group and then go out in a public pr and get consensus in a bigger wide the finish the end result will be a document that we will present in the sig up delivery and get the sig approval for it and okay. from there, I'm not sure, but from there, that's the SIG uh, responsibility. Uh, okay. It is an ongoing process, uh, not short one, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, with all the uh, situation this year, so uh, it's yeah. going slowly. Uh, you are welcome to add comments, as I said before, on every Mm -hmm. stage you want, you can add multiple people write uh, parts. So you can just take part, write it up, uh, or even delete okay. it and write it again. Uh, we also have a Slack channel, uh, mm. the CNCF Slack called SIG Up Delivery Operator Working Group. Mm -hmm. uh, so also feel free to jump there, ask questions. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, sure and walk around. I I think that the, all the holidays and the situation around yeah. the world, so people didn't join today. Uh, probably yeah. next meeting we'll have more people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally makes sense. Yeah, so I should be able to comment, add any comments uh, in this document, uh, right? Yeah, I think that comment is open for everyone. Suggestions? Okay. Uh, okay. If not, just write in the uh, channel and I will figure out what. Okay. Is not sure. Yeah, makes sense. All right. Yeah, I think uh, that's it from me. Uh, I'll try to put my uh, comments or questions into the channel. I think that is more active than putting comments here in the document. Great, thanks. It's okay. great to have you here. Uh, we'll yeah. happy to more people join in and contribute. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thanks. Goodbye. See you. Bye.